Okay, moving to item number six, grant awards for energy efficiency, HVAC equipment replacement projects at Applegar. Uh, as you know, we talked last time about the projects at all the schools, and I mentioned at the time with Applegar uh, um, wanted to do some further investigation. At. So I signed the contracts and, and started the process for all the others. Uh, so the engineering has started on those. At Applegar, um, we essentially received grant awards for two boilers and two separate boiler rooms. One is the 1936 boiler room, and the other is the 83. Um, what I'd like to communicate to you is to sign the contract for the 83 boiler room only, because the 36 boiler room um, will be impacted by the renovation. So in other words, you'd be putting a new boiler in a space that's going to be torn out and, and not utilized. Um, it also, as I mentioned before, is a steam boiler, which is really don't want a steam boiler in schools. They're, they, they are tough to manage and they can be dangerous and so on. The one we'd be looking to replace is a hot water system that is not affected by the referendum. Um, matter of fact, it will benefit the referendum because we are renovating some of the spaces. If you recall in the gymnasium, we're creating some classrooms down there. So this boiler would feed those spaces and it will have the capacity to do that. Um, but the existing 1936 is all underground piping that feeds the 60 wing and throughout the building. And I can assure you that, that piping approaching 100 years old is so corroded and a good new boiler up to it. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just not the right thing to do. So um, if you're okay, I'm going to sign that contract and just proceed with the in the part that's feasible for us. Actually, I was born that year. <laughs> we left. I was going to say, I just did the math in my head. <laughs> All right. 